So today I'm talking about a P0520 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0520 code? Well, it's an engine oil pressure sensor switch circuit. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's a sensor or a switch that's monitoring the oil pressure inside the engine and the computer is seeing some kind of problem with this oil pressure sensor or switch. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And depending on the vehicle, the year, the make, things like this, it could be using an oil pressure sensor or it could be using a switch. Most vehicles are going to be using a sensor, but if you have an older vehicle, it might be using what's called a switch. But either way, they're both doing the same thing. They're monitoring the oil pressure that's inside of the engine. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0520 code? Well, the first thing to go and check whenever there's some kind of engine oil pressure problem is go check the engine oil. Be sure that it's not low, that it's not really dirty or anything like this, because if it is, then that could cause problems. Another thing that can throw these sensors off is if the wrong oil was used. If the wrong engine oil was added into the engine for some reason and it's too thick or it's too thin, then that can also throw these sensors off. So keep that in mind. But the first thing that could cause this is low engine oil, dirty engine oil, or the wrong oil type was used. The next thing that could cause this problem is that that oil pressure sensor has just gone bad and just needs to be replaced. There's some different ways to go about testing those sensors. There's some good YouTube videos on that. If you do go to work on your vehicle, you will need to get a diagram or a schematic to know where that sensor is located and what's going on with it. Because they will be located differently, they'll usually be bolted directly into the engine block, but the exact location is going to vary. So be sure to get a diagram for your particular vehicle to know where it's located. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad oil pressure sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring problem. There's like an open, there's a short, there's something going on inside the wiring that's causing a problem. So if you have a multimeter, you can go test that wiring and check to see what's going on and be sure everything's good. And again, you will need to get a diagram and schematics for your particular vehicle since there will be differences on what's going on. For example, it's very common for these oil pressure sensors to be three wire sensors. And if they are three wire sensors, then you're going to be getting voltage to it, a ground, and then you're going to have a signal wire going back to the computer. So in this case, if you have a multimeter, you can go check and be sure you're getting voltage, that you got a good ground, that the signal wire going back to the computer is good. There's no open or short or anything like this. It's because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring issue. And the next thing that could cause a problem, although this isn't too common, this is going to be fairly rare, is that there's some kind of issue going on with the oil pump. If that oil pump's not working correctly and there's some kind of issue going on with it, then the oil pressure might be low and it's throwing off that sensor or something like that. But like I said, this is going to be fairly rare. This isn't going to be too common. Another thing that can throw those sensors off is if those passages are blocked and the oil can't flow through them correctly and it's causing low oil pressure and throwing that sensor off. But again, this isn't going to be very common. This is fairly rare. Usually when you get a P0520 code, it's either going to be like a bad pressure sensor or there's going to be some kind of problem in the wiring going to the sensor. But just keep in mind that if there is a bad oil pump or blocked oil passages, then that can throw off those oil pressure sensors. So the last thing I'll list is going to be a bad oil pump or a blocked passage. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0520 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.